Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt, and I just stuck my gun and my whole hand in some honey. This is a gold gun, so I figured it'd be fitting to put a gold gun in this golden goodness. This has been <laughs> just dripping forever. This stuff is so much thicker than I thought. That's good. All right, I'm gonna close the slide. This hand's clean. Ugh. Oh, it's so... <laughs> I can't open it. Oh, it's... <laughs> Let's see where the tri trigger drops. <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to lock it open. Ugh, I can't grab it. It's impossible. It's so slippery. Come on. All right, got it. All right, ready? I'm gonna drop the slide. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands and the gun and then we'll start this video. Oh, this is one of those videos that you guys have been asking for forever like we've just oh this is so thick this is dutch gold honey you guys have been asking for honey in a video look how cool that looks for so long i mean i've just received millions and millions of emails with people saying matt we gotta know how bulletproof is honey and guys i'm here to answer all your just kidding no one's actually ever asked us that ever i originally got this idea to shoot at honey because I got a new honey badger. So I had never actually shot one of these before um, and Talon Sai came to my range and he brought his honey badger and let me try it out. And it was awesome and I told him, man, that thing's so cool. And so he actually hooked it up and got one sent to me. So this is a Q honey badger. It's a pistol, has a very short barrel and a pistol brace in the back that extends. Very cool little AR, 300 blackout. And we're gonna try it out today. So. I just thought, what could be funnier than shooting a honey badger at honey? But first, a word from our sponsor. Our sponsor's honey. That is called the trifecta. These days, online shopping seems to be the only shopping we really do anymore. And that's where today's sponsor, Honey, comes in. It's the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tells them when you're checking out. Honey is basically your online shopping best friend. So here's how it works. You get Honey on your computer for free in two easy clicks. Then when you're checking out on one of its 30,000 supported sites, Honey pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons. You wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons for that site. If Honey finds a working code, you'll watch the prices drop. I shorted three pieces from Papa John's and it was gonna cost me $57.83. But the little honey icon popped up and said, hey, you wanna apply some coupons? And I hit yes and it searched. And with the coupons, my new cost is $44.37, which means I saved over $13 in just a few seconds by saying, sure honey, you can search for some coupons for me. Appreciate you. It's simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. It's free and it works on whatever browser you use. Get Honey today by going to joinhoney.com slash demo ranch. That's joinhoney.com slash demo ranch so that they know that I sent you. Thank you, Honey, for sponsoring this video. Now let's go get disgustingly messy. So that's like two feet of honey. And when I stuck my hand down into that bucket, I realized how thick and dense that honey really is. Like you see it and you know it's thick, like you pour it out of a little thing on your toast and like it's thick, but like, man, when it's all together, it's pretty crazy. So take a shot every time I say thick in this video and you'll have a very good experience. All right, we're going through the honey. This is five gallons of honey poured in a little tub that makes it about two feet thick. And we're going 22 long rifle straight into it. Oh, dang, that cracked it bad. That made a much bigger hole. It actually threw honey back at me too somehow. Made a much bigger hole than I thought it would. I was hoping our 22 would make a tiny little hole that'd be easy to seal up. I actually had tape ready to go to seal this hole, but tape is not gonna seal that. So nothing came out the back though. So we did stop a 22 long rifle in the bucket. Still looking for that 22 long rifle. I don't see it yet. Oh, I see it, it's right there. Right in the middle. It's so slippery. There it is, 22 long rifle made it about a foot into the honey before it stopped. All right, we're gonna collect it all into our new bucket and we'll move on up. Giddy up, partners. We are moving on up to a 25 ACP out of my little Spanish pocket pistol. This is actually one of my cheapest and most favorite guns. All right, 25 ACP, <laughs> going at the honey, firing! Oh, gross, gross, gross. That was a tiny little hole. The 
22 did more damage. We can totally duct tape this. Oh, but how are we gonna find the bullet? Hmm, what is that? Is that it? That's the bullet! No, it's a piece of plastic. Never mind. Thought it was a bullet. But yeah, this knocked huge chunks of plastic in here when it broke through. Decided that I wanted to see where that bullet is without moving my hand around there and disturbing it. So I'm gonna let this drain into another bucket. So I'm opening it up a little bit. God, look how beautiful that is. So cool. And it's so thick. Look what I can do. Ooh, I just felt something, a little piece of plastic fell out. Another one maybe, or was that a bullet? I don't think a bullet would flow out. Bullet should sink to the bottom. Look how fun this is. I'm having too much fun. Sorry, sorry. We'll find the bullet. There it is, right there, in the back. So it's in like the. It made it like 75% of the way through. So the 22 is here. That one was here. Nothing has touched the back wall of our buckets yet. Until the next round. We are stepping it up to a real caliber. This is a nine millimeter in the Altor pistol. <laughs> Very interesting little survival gun. I've been surprised so far that it's not rippling or like throwing any honey out, but it's just so thick. I guess that's why the viscosity is so high. This one though, with as much energy as the nine has, may finally shoot some of it out. We'll find out together. Firing! Oh, that's a big hole. Wow, okay, that one is draining. Oh, the whole bottom's gone. That's why. So that energy went in, it split it from here. Like, I mean, I hit somewhere around there. Yeah, I think I hit right there. And it split it from here all the way under. Busted everything. I don't know where the bullet went. It fell out when we dumped all of that over there. Well, shoot, dog. I'm just going through to figure out if this bullet fell into our little bucket. Cause I wanna know, did the bullet go in there and stop or did it go hit the bottom and go out? I'm pretty sure it went and just stopped because the honey's so thick. I don't think it would have curved. So if it did that, I should be able to find a bullet at the bottom. Oh, this is so thick. And now there's stuff stuck all in it too. It's pretty nasty. Oh, there's a hole in this one. How'd that happen? Yeah, we're leaking out of the bottom of this too. I have no idea what happened to the nine millimeter. We could not find the bullet. I don't know why there was a hole in that one. I don't know if we did that when we set it down prior, but we're gonna go ahead and just move up to the 45 ACP. One thing I know for sure, nothing has made it out the back of that bucket yet. The honey is stopping everything. 45 ACP, will it stop in the honey? Oh, it shot it off, that was cool. Oh, and it went through. That one is the first one to crack the back. Ugh. Yeah, it busted all the bottom out. Oh, the whole bottom is destroyed. Still don't see a bullet. Man, that honey is so thick. We're just losing bullets left and right. Oh, that one went out. That's for sure a bullet hole in the backside. Okay, now it is time to shoot the honey badger. And I've actually never shot this gun. We put a uh, silencer coat suppressor on it, and we have some subsonic ammo. I'm just gonna fire out here a little bit just to try it out. You'll notice I have no ear protection on. Woo! You can hear it hitting the dirt over there. That's about probably 50, 60 yards. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. All right. We are going to shoot at the honey now. We know it's gonna go through because the 45 ACP went through. 45 is going slower, it's bigger. So we know it's gonna go through. So what I'm gonna do instead of just testing to see if it goes through, I'm just gonna light it up. I'm gonna shoot a bunch. Let's just mag dump straight into the honey. Oh, let's see what happens. Ready? Firing. <laughs> What's that noise? It's just the like the foam, the bubbles in the honey. I have honey pouring off my hat. Oh, gross, I just saw that come out of nowhere. 
I've got honey on the inside of my thigh. I can feel, oh. Uh, okay, there's also honey on the tip of this. Thank you to Honey for sponsoring this episode where we shoot a honey with a honey badger. Fairly disgusting, but at least they, stripping off my hat, at least they don't have a gun called the mayonnaise badger, because I wouldn't do, I would. I would do that for you guys. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby? I'm a doctor. Ish.